Moving mailboxes between Exchange 2016 databases. Why we like to move mailboxes between databases? Could be any reason. Maybe you want to move a mailbox to a different database because the different database has higher limits and you want to give your executives a higher limit. Or maybe the database is on a faster hard drive and provide better performance. Or maybe that database back up more frequently than the other database and depends on the different SLAs you might like to move it. So in my environment I have four executive users. All they need is higher limit, better performance and as they are executive I need to provide them uh, all the services. For this reason, if you recall, I had two, or I have two uh, databases, Employees DB and Executive DB. Executive DB have higher limits, and as per my backup policy, I backup Executive DB database more frequently than Employees DB. So, four users of my organization, let's say administrator is one of them, and second one is Mark Nicholas, and Steve Smith, and let's take it to Mr. McDonald's, David McDonald's. We will move them to over here to this database called executive DB. As I said, in my case, the reason of moving database from employees to executives because this database has higher limit. So they can have more mailboxes as well as it's been back up more frequently. Lucky for us, we can do this using GUI. And it's a very easy thing. You can do it for multiple mailboxes at once. You don't have to do it one by one. Of course, there's a PowerShell method as well, but if we have a GUI method, then why don't you use it, right? So I will show you how to do that. So what I will do, I will select multiple users, those four users, which whose mailbox we need to move. Let's say administrator, Mark Nicholas and I will select Steve Smith and yes David McDonald's so these four guys they are executives in our, our company. They are in higher positions. Their mailbox are important. They need higher limits. So all you have to do after selecting these four mailboxes by pressing the control key, you'll go all the way, scroll down, and then you'll choose move mailbox. Here, the new mailbox batch will start. Here, I will specify the name of this batch operation. Let's say in my case, I will say executive batch when I want it to be processed. I want to process immediately this request. I will choose the destination where I want this these mailbox to be, the target database, which is executive. The report of this will be sent to administrator and I will choose the rest of the things will be default and that's it. I'll press new and now a request will be generated. Oh yep. I would like to see. Okay, let's see the details of it. And if I go to the details, 
you'll see it's validating all these four mailboxes. Once it gets validated, it will start moving these mailboxes from employees DB to executive DB. It will take a while, so I will pause the video, and once it's done, we will come back again. All right. As you can see, it's completed. All four of them have been successfully completed. And let's see. Let me close this window for you. Once again, as you can see, it's showing all the items that have been processed. Refresh. Uh, it's been completed. It's just, just taking just a while to refresh it over here but if you go to the mailboxes option and if you refresh over here uh-huh see executive DB for all my four selected mailboxes which shows that it's been successfully completed and all these four users mailboxes are now residing under executives db database and this is a very simple process and very easy and you can do it through GUI as well as PowerShell mm, GUI is much easier so let's stick to it